Me and all the other guys out there, right? <laughs> right. That's a heads up to everyone. All right. Well, heads up about uh, this heat that we're seeing right now because it doesn't seem like it's going to stop anytime soon. Let's get to Aaron Moran. Uh, what a, another scorcher, Aaron. It's like uh, you get into the car, you crank up the AC, right? and it just doesn't want to kick on. It feels like at least. Honestly, it's like the AC can't cool us fast enough. I know we're feeling that in the apartment right now. I mean, it's running, but the temperature is definitely still on the warmer side right now. And it makes sense. We've got the sun kind of beating down on us, and we've got temperatures sitting in the 90s right now. A live look over Denton, 97 degrees but it feels like 99 and I had that circled earlier because it did feel like 100 degrees there but we do have some spots with those feels like temperatures in the low 100s Greenville at 101 degrees along with Terrell here in Waxahachie it feels like 101 degrees uh, Paris you're in a league of your own right now, feeling like 107. Now, dew points are a little bit higher the farther east you go. You can see Paris with that dew point of 74 currently. Now, you go a little farther to the west, Breckenridge with a dew point of only 59. So it actually doesn't feel that bad out there. But remember, yesterday we were talking about if we're not discussing the humidity, we're just discussing the heat at this point because temperatures are still topping out in the mid and upper 90s. It's just when you get those dew points into the 70s, then the feels like temperature starts to creep into the triple digits. Most of us are seeing the sun. There have been a few clouds kind of popping up this afternoon, but I want to draw your attention a little bit closer to Paris where they're dealing with the higher humidity right now. Little weak disturbance. Uh, kind of closer to Texarkana and it's moving to the southwest. So I do have a 10% chance for a spotty shower or storm, mainly from Sulphur Springs to Paris over the next few hours. I'm not expecting much. I think if these storms can really kind of tap in to a little bit more moisture than maybe some brief heavy rain, some lightning, we still have that 10% chance for maybe a spotty shower in Denton County by 8 o'clock this evening. But you get to 10 o'clock and it's mainly just partly cloudy skies and then overnight partly cloudy with temperatures in the mid and upper 70s. Once again, we've got that 10% chance for an isolated shower east of I-35. Winds are still light. Tomorrow, we top out at 95 degrees. Feels like temperature around 100. And then, of course, we get to the weekend. We've got a high of 95 on Saturday, a high of 98 on Sunday. Uh, once we get to next week, we do have a little bit of, uh, uh, of a break, I guess, in the heat and humidity. Uh, a pattern change. We've got a cold Cold front that arrives. Uh, now, that depending on the timing of that cold front, we could have a few stronger storms. So we're going to talk about that. Plus, the latest on the tropics. It's coming up in the next half hour. Back to you. Okay, Aaron. We.